in this video you will learn about the sampling methods to conduct research as which methods are more suitable for which type of research and how you can choose an appropriate method to overcome the sampling error and to make the results fruitful so uh, after watching this video your concepts will be clear about the sampling plan or the importance of sampling plan or which sampling methods are useful to select the study so uh, let us start with the simple random sampling in simple random sampling uh, if this is our targeted area in which we select this question with the help of simple random sampling simple random sampling is useful whenever we have the uh, queries like we want to select some players and uh, we uh, have put on their names on in the cap and randomly selected a uh, few from these this is known as simple random sampling and the benefit of this simple random sampling is actually the selection of each and every individual from this portion have equally likely chances to occur so we can easily find the biasness of something we can easily select and we can easily find the probability of selection of each individual so um, this sampling is beneficiary whenever our research problem is like this we want to select uh, some players from the group and by without looking them we can randomly pick a uh, few from the sample and the selection of each player or the selection of each participant have equally likely chances to come so they don't have bias towards any particular categories so this is the benefit of simple random sampling but in many situations uh, we have different kinds of group then we need an other sampling technique so in that case a simple random sampling uh, doesn't give us more fruitful results as compared to stratified random sampling so whenever you have different kind of groups the best sampling technique or the best sampling plan which you choose for your study is the stratified random sampling in which you can make the random strata of each Uh, kind of group separately and then conduct your research like the benefit of the simple random sampling is that this method is good when we want some members from every group and the example we can take a student council survey 100 students consisting of 25 high school students 25 undergrad 25 post graduate and 25 part time students even though we we have the 100 students group but in this we want to uh, select the high school undergrad post graduates and part time students so their categories are different uh, so the best suitable plan, uh, sampling technique or the sampling method for this type of problems are this type of experiment is the stratified random sample in which you randomly choose uh, select the strata of first kind group strata of second kind strata of third kind and so on now uh, up to your desired level so uh, if we see this example here we can select the four strata one for the high school one for the undergrad one for the post graduate and one for the part time student so uh, in this you can say this method is good whenever we have some members from every group so now you can say you have some members from each group like this is if our old age this is our female uh, and this is our teenagers so you have the selection of Uh, each group members from each group so this is the benefit of stratified random sampling so we prefer the stratified random sampling whenever we want to select 
community members from each group in each strata. So the other problem in research when we want to do something is like this, in which uh, we choose the cluster random sampling. Actually, the purpose of cluster random sampling is that when each group reflect the population as whole, here you can see each group reflect the population as whole. In dark cases, cluster random sampling is most preferable and suitable technique. Like an airline company wants to survey its customers. So they randomly select 10 flights on a day and then survey every passenger on each of these flights in which you can say each group reflects the population as whole, like 10 flights passengers and each passenger represent his group as a whole. So in these situations or in this kind of experiment, the most suitable method of sampling is the cluster sampling. So we choose the cluster sampling when each group, each member represents as a whole. We choose the stratified random sample when we select the uh, sample from each group and we choose the simple random sample in which we can say uh, each and every individual have the equal chances of occurrence or the probability of each and every uh, individual occurs equally likely. So here, uh, important to notice that if you choose the incorrect sampling method, which uh, will lead to skewed results or the biased results, or uh, you cannot get the normal uh, distribution or the normal curve shape or the unbiased results in that case. So the uh, to get the normal uh, curve, to get the unbiased result, it must be suitable at the correct sampling method uh, apply on the research study. Only then you can get fruitful results. Uh, your results get more uh, importance than the uh, incorrect sampling method. So uh, uh, in this way, you can easily choose an appropriate sampling technique to conclude your study. So uh, we have these three important sampling methods, which are mostly used in our research studies, in our surveys, in our questionnaires. So we pick these according to our uh, nature of the study or the requirement of our study. So this is our, about the sampling techniques, uh, how we can choose them uh, to overcome the biasedness, to overcome the skewed results, or, uh, the important play is the suitable sampling plan selection. So once you choose the suitable sampling plan, you can easily conclude your uh, study more fruitfully than the other ones. So this is all about these techniques. Thank you.